Yeah, what's up, everybody? Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Yeah, come on in. We'll get started. What's up, D? What's up, Michael? We'll get one more minute, y'all, and we'll get started. All right, let us begin. Now, yesterday in my last lecture, I introduced the concept of TUMO. T-U-M-M-O, TUMO. And uh, TUMO is known as the inability fire. You see what I'm saying? Inability fire. Now, uh, a lot of people have been having problems with this cold weather. But just like they showed you in... The little anim popular anime movie on Netflix called MFKZ or motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? What's up, Sky? Just like they've been showing you, a lot of people have been having trouble with this cold weather. And uh, you know, they know that they 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 like, yo, this this weather is freezing us from the inside out, it feels like, which is true. They're using they're using chemical and weather war warfare, wage of chemical and war weather warfare on you to fucking freeze your melanin. Cause, Cause when melanin gets cold, it gets froze. You see what I'm saying? Just like anything. The reason why your castle, uh, your pineal glands was calcified because it was frozen. You see what I'm saying? The reason why anything happened to you is because they are freezing you. You see what I'm saying? They they sub zero in you for the most part. So our ancestors practice techniques that resolve this issue. You see what I'm saying? They 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 practice. Uh, one of those techniques is called tumo. See what I'm saying? The inability fire. The inability fire. Now, what does two more look like? Two more looks like this. 
You see that? The inner belly flame rising up. And, and, it, and it takes form mainly in your navel. You see what I'm saying? Your navel area. Because it sits behind your navel for the most part. But it heats up your whole belly area. You know, everything from your root chakra on up to your solar plexus is hot usually. Fiery. Now, how, how do you tap into this? There are plenty of meditations, uh, you know, plenty of meditations, guided meditations on YouTube that you can listen to to tap into it. You can read articles about it, you know, get some basic information on it. But it deals with uh, breathing in the abdomen. You see what I'm saying? You got to breathe in your stomach. See what I'm saying? Inhale into your stomach, exhale into your stomach. Inhale into your stomach, hold your breath for a few seconds and exhale into your stomach. Exhale, you see what I'm saying? So, 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 you focus on your navel area and you so focus on, in the meditation, you focus on lighting a match. And this match is going, uh, uh, you know, focus on a match lighting a, a candle. You, you flicker the match to do what? Produce a flame. Well, this is the same example. You, you're flickering the match inside of you to, um, to, to, to light this flame. You see what I'm saying? That, that's a good meditation. Just, just take you a energetic match and then just begin to flicker and flicker and then flicker until it, that, 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 that fire strike inside of you. And then once you do that, uh, you should feel a warm fire, uh, come over you. You see what I'm saying? When I unlocked it back in 2015, the warmth of that fire was so strong, I could actually see it. See what I'm saying? It, 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 yeah, I could actually see the fire sitting on my sitting on my clothes. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, this shit is strong. Now, that that's the actually the easy part, uh, activating it. The hard part is putting it into use, putting it into actual practice. This is what it gives, because it's one thing to unlock power, it's another thing to develop it and nourish it to its highest heights. Well, now, the next thing is uh, you have to go out into the cold weather to master it. You see what I'm saying? You got to go out into that cold weather to master it. See what I'm saying? You can start off slow, 50 degrees, then 40 degrees, then the higher 30s. Now, once you get 32 degrees below, now it's real. You see what I'm saying? Now, now you're dealing with the real shit. Now you're de dealing with your final trials because now you're dealing with freezing cold. You see what I'm saying? What they consider to be freezing cold or 32 degrees below, which is technically freezing. So everything from 32 degrees and below is technically freezing. And everything zero below is uh, 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 sub-zero is, is, is super freezing. You see what I'm saying? Super frozen. So uh, this, this, this is a powerful exercise for you to tap into. You see what I'm saying? To, 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 to ignite that flame inside of you. You see what I'm saying? To, 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 to in your belly. It starts off in your belly, then it actually works its way all throughout your body. See what I'm saying? Uh shoots up it shoots up through your crown and actually works its way all throughout your body. Until you feel that fire, the inner heat everywhere. And even in the coldest weather, uh you won't be cold because you have this inner flame warming you up. You see what I'm saying? So, so definitely, definitely, you got to get into this. Uh, for all y'all who having real hard time or a real hard time with this cold weather. I know that cold weather can drain you. Well, of course it's draining you. Have you ever noticed that most people don't get sick until the winter time? Why is this? Because the winter, the cold, the winter's edge or the cold weather freezes your melanin. You see what I'm saying? And that's why our ancestors develop exercises like this to stop the cold weather to, to, to stop their melanin getting frozen by this cold weather. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So they will heat themselves up. So even in the winter time, they uh melanin will stay uh will, 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 will stay strong and they will never get sick. You see what I'm saying? So that's what's going on here. They are they're using this cold weather to make you sick. Like they showed you in MFKZ or motherfuckers. But like they showed you in that uh, how old buddy when they when they shot their rocket into the sky, showing you harp and fucking uh cold weather manipulations when they shot up into the sky, uh and uh manipulate the ions in the sky to what? To what? Begin to make it cold, turn it from extreme heat to extreme cold. And when that happened, what what happened to Angelino? He began to freeze. See what I'm saying? You begin to freeze up because that shit is cold weather. You see what I'm saying? It don't feel too good when when that shit hits you like that. So definitely, definitely, definitely get y'all some. Uh, definitely 
get go out there and you know deal with that. You see what I'm saying? Don't 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 sleep on that cause that cold weather is what's making you sick. Cause it's freezing your melanin. Your melanin is not your melanin is not meant to be frozen like that. And that's why the average black person died in the winter. If you've ever noticed. The average black person dies in the winter time. Not the not the not the summer. You see what I'm saying? Now if they die in the summer, they may get killed or something like that most of the time. Or they had a terminal illness or something like that. Or it was just their time to go. But the average black person get killed during the winter time because of this cold weather. Cold weather. You see what I'm saying? Freeze, freezing their melanin, shutting, their, shutting down their immune system. So your melanin is what uh, enhances your immune system. So when your immune system is weakened like that, then you're subject to the coronavirus and fucking the flu and all the other crazy shit that they got out here, but they know it won't affect you if your melanin stay warm. So what they do, they have to freeze the planet first. Then they get in, then they can inject, uh, then they can start biological warfare by releasing these chemicals in the air to make you sick. But as long as your melanin stays warm and heated up, then you're good. You see what I'm saying? You, you ain't got to worry about these motherfuckers, uh, you ain't got to worry about those diseases because your melanin will fight off those diseases. You, you see what I'm saying? But you got to keep your melanin warm. You got to keep it hot. You got to keep it uh, fiery and explosive. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Because that's, that, that's the only thing I ain't like about the Venom movie. Uh, they, they, they said that um, they said your melanin was weak against fire. It's not weak against fire. It's weak against cold. If it frees you up, then it's fuck, it fucks you up. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That that's why I think uh, they should have showed, but they 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 uh, showed them motherfuckers though. They showed them MFKZ. They showed you like, nah, we trying to freeze the goddamn melanin because the melanin is what's uh, is what's fucking them up. You see what I'm saying? That's what they scared of. Your melanin monsters, your internal melanin monsters rising. So the only way they can stop your internal melanin monsters from rising is by what making it as cold as possible. That's why it, it rains nonstop now. Hell, it rains four or five days out of the week. Have y'all noticed that? Since that's unnatural. Shit, it don't never. It's the cold season. It's so called a cold season. So goddamn, why is it raining so much? It don't start. It don't usually rain like that to the rainy season or the spring season. You see what I'm saying? Well, well, nature is fertilizing itself again with water. So why the fuck is it raining so much in the winter time? You see what I'm saying? No more than the snow or some shit like that. But it's raining, like like it's raining, like goddamn. There's something to nourish in the winter. Now everything is dead in the winter sleep. So why why is there a need for a rain like that? You know, every so often, you know, but four or five days a week, that shit is bizarre. Especially down here in the south in Alabama, they making it rain left and right around here. Shit and shit. Yesterday it was seventy three degrees. They made that motherfucker rain. Now today is what? Is what? It's like thirty. It's, it's like forty degrees outside. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's 47 degrees now. It was 73 degrees yesterday, y'all. They made it rain all night. And they turned on their weather machine. They shot that shit down to 43. You see what I'm saying? Cause that that soul heat. You see what I'm saying? Cause it wasn't, it wasn't the heat. If you notice, that heat is no longer, it's no longer just regular heat now. It's soul heat. You can feel it here. Before you feel it out there in the sky. Before you feel the sun out there, you feel it inside of you. Why? Because the heat is coming from within you now. You're warming up the planet. Your soul is warming up the planet. Because your soul is, like we said, is a weapon of mass destruction and a tool of mass creation and organization. So it is creating uh, in mass this solar heat. But since how they blocking out the sun, the heat is coming from within you now. You see what I'm saying? That heat is coming from within you and from within the earth. The earth is also heating up. You see what I'm saying? And so and so since you heating up and the earth heating up, it automatically, it don't matter if they're covering the sky or not, the sun in the universe is heating up, uh, heating, heating this shit up. So they get an attack from all sides, from us, the ground, uh, Mother Earth's heat uh, coming from inside of her. And from fucking the universe, the sun in the universe. So, so, so they getting their asses towed up with all this heat, and they know eventually they not gonna be able to stop this heat. You see what I'm saying? It's flickering on and off now. Shit, one day it's seventy degrees, the next day it's forty degrees, the next day it's sixty degrees. It's like there's a conflict with the weather. There's a there's a weather war going on, and you can see it. Like one day, one or two days, it's seventy, sixty degrees. And the next two days, it's forty and thirty degrees. That's a that's a that's a drastic shift in weather. You see what I'm saying? 
uh, you know, especially for it to be happening so much back to back, you can't help but notice it. They are what what's happening here. What's up, Patrick? You can't help but notice the 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 manipulation of this weather. So 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 definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get this tumo. This tumo here. This this here. You see what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people teach you to feel the heat in your heart. That's nice. And feel the heat in your mind. That's also nice. But now nah, I'm gonna tell you to feel the heat in your belly. Start working on your belly. Start getting to your abdomen breathing. You see what I'm saying? Your stomach breathing. So you can reignite this flame inside you. And the flame sits behind your navel. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? And like I told y'all, there's a technique in Assassin's Creed. Uh, they show you uh, called Assassin's Wing where he like he like uh, he like comes out. He like um, he steps, then he stomps down and shoots his hands out horizontally. Call it an assassin's wing. That actually explodes your tumor. You see what I'm saying? It erupts it. And you be and, and, and you become more fierce and ferocious. You see what I'm saying? More fiery, more explosive. Because now you not only learn how to harness your tumo, you can erupt it or explode it. And that fire comes out of you. And so now, so now all this cold weather ain't really fucking bothering you because you have this gift. You see what I'm saying? Because you've tapped into it. And anybody can tap into two more. Anybody can warm themselves up with this inner belly heat, this inner belly fire. You see what I'm saying? What's up, Star? You see what I'm saying? Anybody can warm themselves up with this inner fire. So don't don't get it twisted. You see what I'm saying? Anybody can do this. But this, it, uh, I know y'all tired of getting your ass kicked by this fucking unnatural cold weather. So uh, uh, my people came to me, my, my ancestors and my, my solar guys and everybody. They're like, yeah, I'm going to release this tumor. We released this two more teachings because they, uh, they 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 having a hard time with this cold weather down here, which makes sense. This cold weather is, is a lie, but the but the uh, the the hardest part of it is actually going out there into the cold weather, sitting down in your meditation for an hour and allowing your two more energy to take hold. You see what I'm saying? Allowing uh, putting pressure on that fire, on that melanin. And cause, cause you gotta learn how to combat the cold from within. You gotta learn to fight from within, like I always tell y'all. So you gotta combat that shit. And all the way to combat it is you go out there in it. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You go out there and go to war with it from within yourself. And what what's gonna happen is when you get you know it's successful when you come out of that meditation and you not cold. See what I'm saying? All the, the wind blowing and everything, but you ain't cold. You see what I'm saying? You blocking that shit. Uh, you see what I'm saying? And another thing, if you if you have any kind of sexual act or whatever, you know, you know, you may have to sit in the house for two or three days till you recharge or regenerate. Uh, because uh, after that sexual act, you is spending energy for a while, so you have to recharge. Once you recharge, then your uh, two more fire should reignite. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? While you're in your meditation, so definitely, definitely, definitely get into this. Get into this here. Get into that belly fire. See what I'm saying? That belly fire. That tumo. T U M M O. Definitely. Definitely get into that. Especially. Because this is what y'all need now. This is what y'all need. Uh, the, the, this, this inner fire, you know, is, is what's going to warm you up now. Keep you hot. See what I'm saying? That's why they don't want you focusing on your belly like that. Most motherfuckers are watching TV shows like in Cobra Kai and all that shit. What Danny, what, what Danny LaRusso was telling the, the girl, he said, I only focus here and here. But he told her don't fuck with her, he, don't, he told her don't fuck with her belly. Her belly fire, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, that's bullshit, them. He told her don't fuck with that. And goddamn, guess what? That keep you cold. That keep you, that keep you docile when you don't fuck with your belly fire. Actually, and and they know that. That's why they went and took out the top, to Ben Musk, like I told y'all in the MFKZ video. That, that's why they went out and took out the, to Ben Musk, because they was masters of the Tumo. That, you see what I'm saying? They went and raided to Ben back in the 50s. And got them and uh, scattered them all across the world. You see what I'm saying? Evicted them off the land. So, But the, but they still kept the ability alive uh, on, on down to present day. And now they're teaching it again. So definitely, 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 y'all. Y'all gotta get some of this. Y'all gotta get some of this. So do what you need to do. You know, build your fire up. You know, warm yourself up. Temperature manipulation. You know, you know, um, you know, uh, and, and, and keep yourself, keep yourself warm in this fucking unnatural cold weather. This unnatural shit that they creating out here. 
Because that's what's making y'all sick. I guarantee y'all. That's what's making y'all sick. Every year for the past uh, eight years, because goddamn, ain't been a real, it, it ain't been a real winner since 2011. I can tell y'all that now. As far back as 2011, I don't recall there being an actual winner. They've been, they've been fucking using their heart machines to make it cold for the last two thousand, uh, for the last eight years since 2012. They, they went from 2012 on up to the present day. It has, um, it, it from 2012 up into present day, uh, they've been, they've been fucking creating winners. It, it, when it has been stopped existing, you see what I'm saying? When it hadn't existed for goddamn eight, nine years now. So, so definitely, definitely. So, 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 yeah, this unnatural cold is used to freeze your melanin. Keep it at 32 degrees and below. That's, that's what it's designed for. That's why it don't matter how cold it is outside, whether it's fucking zero below or goddamn 40 degrees outside, it still feels like your melanin is being frozen, like it has no chance against this cold weather. Because they, the, the the cold weather ain't got shit to do with the cold out there. It's about freezing your melanin inside of you, keeping it at 32 degrees and below. Because anything from, from 33 degrees and on up, it begins to warm up. You see what I'm saying? They know this. So they definitely, definitely, definitely trying to keep that shit, you know, the 32 degree mall. That's why it don't matter whether it's, it's, it's 40 degrees outside or it's negative three outside. That shit still feel like it's attacking you on the inside. You see what I'm saying? That shit, that shit feel like it's invading you and, and, and freezing your melanocytes. You see what I'm saying? Inside of you. That's why it's attacking your melanocytes. And that's why uh, once they freeze your melanocytes, your melanocytes and your blood move slower. And when your melanocytes move slower, then they can't, they can't uh, flow all throughout your body and do what they need to do. And that begins to make you sick. You see what I'm saying? That's when they and that's when they come behind it and release the viruses. They they release the viruses on on, on days it's cold outside. You see what I'm saying? That, that that's the only days they do the flu and all that shit. They release it on days it's cold outside. You see what I'm saying? So even with this coronavirus, that shit that ain't working because it, it, they can't keep it cold long enough for it to work. That's the problem. That's why ain't nobody gets sick. So it's manifesting as the flu. The uh, mass flu outbreak because they can't keep it cold over here long enough for the coronavirus to take to take effect because uh, our melanin is protecting us. You see what I'm saying? So, so this is what they're doing. So, what do you do? You counteract that by not only not letting them freeze your melanin, but by taking your destiny and fate in your own hands and doing what? Getting into this meditation. Go within. F breathe through your stomach. You see what I'm saying? Breathe into your stomach. Inhale. Hold your breath. Exhale into your stomach. You see what I'm saying? Even reverse breathing. Reverse breathing is when you uh when when instead of breathing inhaling naturally and your stomach coming out, pushing out, reverse breathing is when your stomach pull, pushes in and you breathe from there and you hold it for a second and you exhale. And you focus on igniting this fire behind your navel. You see what I'm saying? Your navel chakra and everything. You, you you focus on in your mind's eye, you focus on flickering it down there. Taking an energetic match and just flickering, just, 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 just swiping it against the darkness, swiping it against the darkness. And you're going to start to see our, our, our sparks fly. And you're going to begin to flicker it. And, and after you finally flick it one good time, it's going gonna, it's gonna to light the match. And, your, it, and it's going to ignite the flame. And you should feel it in your belly. You're going to be like, damn. And you start, and as soon as you feel it, that heat in your belly, you should begin to warm up. You see what I'm saying? You'll be like, damn, this feel good. Here, this feel good. And, and, and from that point on, you should be able to tap into it. And then, like I said, go outside. Go outside and practice that shit. You see what I'm saying? At least an hour a night, an hour a day, until you get strong enough to where you can go outside and the cold weather doesn't fucking affect you. I'm about to go outside after I get to talking to you and practice that shit just to keep up my skills. You see what I'm saying? Because it's cold again. So I know they're going to try to keep it cold for the rest of the week. So I'm going to go out here and practice this ability myself to keep my fight, my flame strong. You see what I'm saying? So definitely, definitely, definitely. Get y'all some. So, are there any questions? That's pretty much it. Yes, yes. And get y'all some of this one more time. I'm gonna show this. I'm only showing it multiple times so y'all can see it multiple times. 
See what I'm saying? The inability file. Cause that's probably the best example I found online of the, uh, of the, of the, of Tubo. See what I'm saying? That socket fire inside you, inside your belly. See what I'm saying? So, so go and get you one last look. All right. All right. So, any questions? Why get up out of here? Any question? Well, if y'all don't have no question, I'm Marvin Jones. Put the word out. Share this with your friends. Let, let them know that there is a way to combat this cold weather. You see what I'm saying? Let them know. Let them know where it is. And I'm out. Peace.